Airbnb disasters. Family homes leased out, turned into party central and trashed. Worse still, those responsible don't suffer any consequences, while angry owners are left with the cleanup and the bill. It's beyond words. Uh, we, um, you read about it, it's your great fear as a landlord, and you really don't think it's going to happen to you. But it did. Every room in Jenny Rylance's luxury property left trashed. So Jenny, what was your reaction when you walked in and saw all this? I was horrified. What, what, what can you say? Something you've spent so much time painstakingly putting together and decorating and coordinating, and to have it treated like this uh, breaks your heart. Across the country, hearts and houses are being broken. Just take a look at this. This vision, recorded by partygoers, literally tearing a house apart. Here, riot police have to be called to clear 200 people from a property rented out on Airbnb. The owner, who doesn't want to be identified, clearly furious. You have a few you know, bad guests, but nothing like that. This is, this is terrible. Clearly they had quite a party. Yes, they did. Um, there's food and grog and uh, a bong was left outside uh, using our hose. Food thrown at walls, broken glass, used condoms everywhere, paintings and TV stolen off the walls, timber work ripped apart. And Jenny, obviously it's just the sheer wanton destruction, isn't it? They've just ripped off the top yeah. of this, this and look, road. Look at the force it would have taken to get it off. And why? It's in the garden. Jenny rented the property on Airbnb, but says you don't get to see who's renting it until you say yes. Jenny said yes to this man, who she says claimed to be a musician from Perth, coming to Brisbane for a performance. They were here to do a gig at some nightclub, and we thought they were going to go to work each night, sort of from 10 till 4 or whatever. So they wouldn't be here. Ha ha, they were here. After three nights of loud parties, one of the neighbours finally complains to Jenny. So the next morning, Jenny arrives here with the police. When they get here, they find there are three young women still asleep. The women later tell the police that they had nothing to do with renting the property. They were only here because they saw a party promoted on Instagram. They were all underage. Um, it turns out one's missing. Officially, uh, they took, her, took them off in their wagon and, uh, of course, they're claiming it was nothing to do with them. We need to understand that ultimately uh, you are effectively handing over the keys to a total stranger. Antonia Mercarella from Queensland's Real Estate Institute. It's an area, of course, that is unregulated, which doesn't help, and certainly we have heard some horror stories of uh, people trashing these properties. Are you embarrassed by what's happened here? What's happened? The party? No, there's no party. At this Airbnb on the Gold Coast, not even coronavirus could stop a party. Neighbours saying 100 people turned up, leaving behind rubbish, a smash car window and blood on the street when things turned violent. You've left behind a pretty big mess here. No, it's not that bad. Across in Perth, this homeowner says someone using fake ID rented his house for a party and he blames Airbnb for not protecting property owners. How could someone give the wrong picture, wrong name, and get into your property for a few hundred dollars and then charge ten dollars per his own guest for a party? Any idea how much it will cost to repair all this? I think 50 to 60, but we don't know. Jenny says Airbnb has given them $2,000 towards their losses, but the rest of the $50,000 she'll have to try and claim on insurance. And in Jenny's case, as well as the other cases we've shown, no one has been charged. I'm really hurt. I'm, I'm taking this quite personally. Uh, we've had bums before, <laughs> but not... Not at this level. 
Now one property owner is suing Airbnb for more than $250,000. Motivational speaker and beauty mogul Cassandra House claiming in court documents that holiday guests who stayed in her Gold Coast unit in 2018 stole property, including clothes, worth thousands, and damaged her beachfront apartment. Police revealing they've charged someone with burglary. I think these platforms, if you read the terms and conditions carefully, you'll find that uh, their view is that they simply act as a, as a technological conduit, if you like, and so of course the due diligence is entirely up to uh, the property owner. For her part, Jenny says she'll be imposing tougher conditions on who can rent her property. It must be heartbreaking to look at it. I keep telling myself it's a rental house, but I'm lying. It's not our permanent home, but it's our home. Yeah, it's a mess. In a statement, Airbnb claimed those incidents are simply rare.